people, today I want to talk about Nicholas Spies and her kids and also Baby Sham, the so-called baby father alleged. Now, today I have a long, long, long vice record, vice note, however you call it. Nicholas state everything in that vice record. He talk about Baby Sham and the kids he talk about spice and he also talk about danger he talk about his relationship with danger after danger claim that she was raped and everything and he also state that he been knew about the baby sham situation but he just couldn't face it anyways people so you know this is an exclusive phone exclusive you understand exclusive nobody not have it so you don't know from an exclusive me always i get them phone so yeah and people while watching the video wanting to keep comment and let me know when i feel every topic nicholas touch wanting to comment in the comment section and clear it so we can all have an understanding together with our whole situation as me say, people, we think it done, we think it over with, but it seems like it just a start. So if you wasn't subscriber, remember to like up the video, cause as much as you like the video, it's important to the channel. It help boost the channel and boost the video on YouTube. And do remember to subscribe to my channel as well. Don't forget to click the notification bell, so you'll be notified every time I post a new content. Okay. So people, exclusive no one see it yeah. Me, that's why I tell people this all the time. If I'm talking, me will talk everything. So no matter since me talk any at all. You get me? Me not gonna talk, I'm not gonna hold back because at the end of the day, I'm not gonna spare no one's feelings. You know, some says best I don't talk because I know who I will feel the hurt of all this. No allegations are out there. No, that my son is not mine. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm gonna tell you something. I never share this with nobody else. So if this comes out, it's from son was four months a photo in the house with a little baby, newborn baby too. And it was Sham, baby Sham, son. And I was going through the job and I see the baby because she told me that Sham and her brother, right? Her brother, musical brother, you know, everybody, then my father, my brother, my sister, whatever, yeah. Anyways. So when I found the pic, I called her in the room and I was looking at the pic and I'm looking at my son lying down. I'm like, damn, they look alike. Mm -hmm. I called her and I said, yo, I shot my father. And yo, that what? woman, I asked her. She cried. I'm evil, you're wicked. And how could you even say that? I should ball. She deals to woman about. Tell me if I start feel bad. You know what happened? When all these allegations come out and somebody has say, hey, they must say whatever I'm say, you know what I mean? Anybody for being father I must cut her. This youth who she was talking about before me. The girl said and then the girl said to me, No, he said when he talked, who's the baby daddy, the place is gonna turn upside down. And when she said that my exact word to her was Bumbo Clot. That's what he said. I said, Yo, send me a picture of Sham's son, let me see what he looks like. She sent me a video with that kid and I was looking at my son. You hear me? Send me a video with Elijah. When I was looking at Elijah, I was looking at my son. And I was like, damn. That shit hurt me, yo. I, like, I cried like, my cries hit me out freaking vomit, yo. And the, the worst part about it is that I love this kid so much. I would die for this kid. That's how much I love him. And this... Even if I do a DNA and it comes back that he's not my son, he's, he's my son. You know what I mean? I can't, I can't stop loving him because unconditional love is not something you turn off. You can't. This is not like he's a girlfriend. I'm going to say, hey, this is a kid that peed in my mouth. You understand me? These mm -hmm. are the, 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 the things. I mean, 
sick and pissed in my mouth, him shit up all over me, vomit in my face, all of these things. Me and him. You know, the most hurtful thing when the man called me, I'm in my talk, yeah, the man said, Daddy, I see everything that's going on on the internet and this guy talking some things about my mom that I don't like. Can you stop it? And I said, Nicholas, I tried to stop it, but this is your mom, cousin or friend or whatever she tell me he was. I can't help it. I can't do nothing. Yeah. She mm -hmm. didn't shout out. She them from nothing. She make them see everything. Because make them see that and telling them that it, that I'm the one doing that. That is why my son could have called me and asked me if me he can stop it. Tell me. And when the man then he reached a point of the argument, the man said to me, said, Daddy, they say that I'm a jacket. Yeah, and when he said that to me, I started to cry. And I said to him, Yeah, I call him Papi. I said, Papi, if you are a jacket, you are the jacket that I'm gonna wear. Okay? I'm gonna wear this jacket until it's torn up. Till it can't fit no more. I'm telling him, so listen, whether or not I'm your biological father, I'm your dad. And nothing in this world will ever change that. I will never stop loving you. And I will always be your dad. Nothing can stop that. Everything that we say we was gonna do, we're gonna do it. And I'm not gonna leave you alone to go through this by yourself. I'm gonna go through this with you. We're gonna do this together, all right? I promise you that. And all he's saying, he's just saying, yes, dad. Listen, I love him like, Trust me, I love him. I love him. It, you know, it's it's like my, my auntie the man is telling me this all the time. So I'm not for this, you know. But I love him more than all my kids. And my auntie them tell me said so they knew all along that he wasn't mine, but they know the love I have for him. They didn't want to tell me, and um, they said they love him, and they can't stop loving him either. And them say if my jacket, it was a way for wear. God, them can't stop loving him, they can't change and love him. If they're only from baby a week, he's steady growing. So it's like, if I do this DNA and he comes back and I'm not his father, yo, I'm like, yo, I tell him that already. I'm like, in five years you'll be 18 and I'll be waiting on you. I'm going to do it. She said I can do one. For peace of mind, I'm going to do it. My auntie them seven of a tweet. But you know why I'm going to do it? I'm going to do it because she talk big and bold and say I must do it. You know? And um, I wasn't the one that said this kid wasn't mine. So remember, I've never said that. You know, we'll never get up and say me to do anything for none of my youth. None of, which one? Ty? You want to do, I want to do the anything both of them. She wasn't fearful at no point in time during the relationship. All right. Next thing I draw my accusation, she lied to me. When she had my son in Atlanta, she lied to me and told me that she can't give my last name because I wasn't there to sign his birth certificate. She, no. She could have given him name Lal. My name couldn't be on the birth certificate. That's the thing. She gave him Hamilton. Yeah, Nicholas Arland and Lal, she used my name as a middle name. Yes. And guess what? You want to know who is his baby father? Who his godfather is? She's my godfather. Of course, they know. Then, listen, they have to know. When she was pregnant, she and Sham have a big falling out and she and Sham never talk. For years, they, they never talk for about a year. They never talk. They beg her not to abort that kid. Yeah. Both kids she wanted to abort. Both of them. I just don't talk these things. My mother was dead and gone, beg her. My mother tells her, have the baby and can't come give me with the care. Right? She never wanted the picnic. She had think about career. So that's why you see she just had do her thing and me just always have my picnic them. There was times when she had go up on the road and the youth them said to me, say, yo, daddy, don't go make she alone, go on. She had this, me. When them hungry and them got to her, I got to tell them to the pop not even food, she don't want to cook me them. But I just don't talk these things. I have to take her freaking breasts out and when the baby punish the baby so that she doesn't even want to do that.
I think she was going through that with Nicholas, but I don't think that was happening with Ty because with Ty she was around me, and like she had the baby to the come out of the hospital, she got on the road, left the baby, got on. I mean, if you have the baby, I take care of the baby. I think so. Eight and a half hours. Yeah. No, boys, that's the thing. I'ma show you something. This woman not tear me down and do everything, and guess what? Now she had reached out for me to deal with paperwork for my daughter to get back her passport. And you know, if I find me all along, you can use the. No, the picture that we can get phone account of them now, and I can't. She need me to do something now. Bring them documents and send them back to her. I guarantee you, I'm not here from them again. Only one, Ty need passport. She don't need me to renew Nicholas passport. And she knew what she was doing. That's why I didn't think I'm gonna start thinking going out. Why she did that at that time, you know? Yep. Last name you have. He was born here, so whatever benefit he's supposed to get him, I'll get it. Because, and that even make it better. <laughs> Let me tell you something. None of them kids are not living here, so. So the benefits are there, so the benefits are there. You understand me? So, you know, but it, it is what it is, and it's life, you understand me? And every day, you know, you better know the truth and know who my father is. Yeah, um, and I, listen, I would like for him to get know him father. If I know him daddy, know your father. You have a father and you have a daddy. Yo, lucky you, it work out away there. You understand me? So, go on your father, and when you're ready, you come find your daddy. Simple. Yeah, that's done. You know, honestly, if it if it's like that, I already accept that already. So, I cry over that already. I never cry over that already of him. I will never stop loving him. And I will never see any difference. Sometimes the man come to me and like, Daddy, I'm your only son. Why don't I have your name? Daddy, why my sisters have your ear and I don't have it? He was asking me these questions all along. And I'm like, yo, puppy, have your mother here. Because when I even look upon them things, they like, I'm so blinded by loving him, I'm not free them thing. Yeah. So people don't know still, but for the same reason why I'm saying, when you hear him say him do it, that is the reason why he did it. What is everybody we used to their own art, they use one word. One word. And that one word is the reason why everybody and anybody with such shit, that one word. You hear that word so much, it represents her face, that one word. It starts with a U, and it finishes with a L. You know the word, right? No, uh -uh. it's called ungrateful. Ungrateful to everybody. There's no one in this world that done anything for her. I'm going to tell you something. One time she left and got Miami and them cut her in a two and sent her come back to Jamaica. And she come back for six weeks. I have to be making porridge every morning and feed this woman out of a spoon. I have to feed her, make her soup in the evening, feed her out of a spoon. Be it her. We have a California king bed. We have a needle on the side of the bed so she can step on a freaking back so she can go up on the bed because she can't just climb up like that. Put her to lie down. We have a doctor. I have a clean cut with freaking saline and, gar and cotton. I put back gauze over the wound, dress it, put back gauze over and cover it and tape her up. Six weeks. I'm going to tell her, I say, yo, make your mother come over, make your sister come. She said, no, I'm not on the body, you know what I'm doing. I'm going to say, all right, cool. I'm going to do all of them shit. Then. While I have the youth, them are dealing with, send them to school and everything. I'll take care of her. She don't remember these things. I mean, I always tell her when she go on, I say, Grace, remember in your darkest hours who you see. And my remember I tell her this straight up. So when your career reach for the highest level, me you're gonna separate. Yeah. And she said to me, say, why me say that? I said, because the kids are gonna be old enough where they don't need a babysitter. And you're ungrateful that you're not remember where, where we are come from. It was written already. Tell you one thing before I go. I'm a strong believer of the universe and what the universe does. And the universe will always take you where it thinks you should be. See, at that time, that's where the universe wanted me to be. I always tell her this. Whenever me, whenever you see me get up and leave without an argument, 
it means that I'm done with you. And that's exactly what I did. When I leave, nobody knows. Like I said, when I left, nobody knows. Okay? I left like a thief in the night. I just disappear out of Jamaica. And people start speculating all them now say me what going on. And then she come up on social media come say the reason why me and I left me a thief. And I laugh. I took that with a smile. When I came to America, I have two hundred dollars in my pocket. So I keep millions. I'm a laugh. But I take it with a smile. You know? But then I continue with talk, I don't remember too much things. I mean I start to have more and then go fix it even. My brother cry like the man cry like a bitch. The man be like, bro. If in a, in a me, if you hold on a girl, in a, in a you, we're certain about that. If you're going on my Instagram right now, I'm going on my inbox. You see, you, you, I may not have a look, woman. So, and if you're going on my Instagram now, I see the type of things that people write and say to me, I'm a monster, I'm a rapist. That shit hurt, man. To the Listen, this girl, she have people on the ground down a fair place them and me they do that and she thought that they would have dirted me a long time ago you know what i mean and me death on the road with them in a freedom place and nothing ever happened to me me and them good the last conversation me have with be that with me they are foreign and me, me a song that she recorded and me call her and me say what well, going on artist and she allowed us and me say yo the song so you know what i mean if you want dj dj you know, but work for your voice you need to work for your voice and hope you deliver and she'll say, oh, you know what, you? And me tell you, I talk to me, I say, what's going on in the streets? Everything good? And she'll say, yeah. And she'll say to me, say, yo, boss, you know, say, me not go too tarty again. So I say, what's going on? She say, spice me. So no one know if you're tarty, you know, and me no one want to lose my work. That's exactly what she said. And you know, I said to her, I say, yo, DJ, I don't know your thing going on. Just go and do your thing, you know, and do your business, you know. And guy dance on the road, you know, see? Build up yourself. That's what I said to her. And that was the last time I talked to her. Never talked to her again. Yeah, but it is what it is. It's life, you know what I mean? But listen, the amount of woman that call my phone and say, yo, lad, I don't buy that. Can you in a situation worse than that? When I ask me a kid, I tell her, no, I you just leave me alone. You just stop the way you're going to you. Now you're sleeping on the bed. The day and night, I'm going to you do. I push her on and my neck and jam me up on your damn shoulder. You hug me up on my house. That was it. More than one woman said that to me. Never the next cat call her sister, sister, bash when she called her and said, hey, listen, no way you're going to stop that book and all them really. And weeks, this man is sleeping in my bed with me. I mean, he never had sex because I said no. He never tried to take nothing. Me and him got a club and we had drink and we come in. And this man don't drink, he junk. So when this woman here said, this man drink and junk, I lie, she tell Nobody in a dance hall can tell you, sir, when I go up on the road, I'm drunk. I don't drink when I go up on the road, the worst when I tour. And I remember, man, a man said to me, say, yo, dog, you don't drink. I said, when I go up on the road, I don't drink because I'm responsible for everybody in my team. So I can't drink when I go on the road. When you come on my yard like you did in a liquor store, I drink when I go home. Because guess what? If I drink on my stuff, you get a certain type of way, I'll go straight in my bed. That's how I drink. I drink. Red Bull and cranberry juice when me at work. When me get warm in my house, that's when I drink. Even now, I will smoke weed if I feel like it. I may drink like I feel like it. I may have weed in my yard for seven months. I may have liquor in my house right now from like two freaking years. It's proven that I'm not this type of person who drink. I have a bottle of Hennessy with my pool. And the shit there, I'm going to see almost two freaking years. And if the body come there, I'll drink because I don't drink like that. But... Hello? I don't understand, y'all. And it's like, taking danger to court. Taking danger to court for what? Because you're not getting some danger. Nothing. Now, where's my freaking money to pay a lie? That's all I'm going to do, you know? I don't feel like my spouse is going to court because she is going to court. Somebody would not have one red cent. Yeah, I forget to lie in Jamaica because the Jamaica didn't live. So, now, now somebody else, sir, what am I there? 
I know, I know everybody about I know, I say, yo, me get lying. What the fuck would I cry for? What would I cry for? Everybody would have found a name. What the fuck would I cry for? Tell me. What would I cry for? Remember, you know, them either they try me, find me guilty, and prosecute me, execute me, really. Listen, and listen to me, good. He said, while I was there, while I was home with my youth, I'm not just home with my youth, I'm not just home with my youth, everything for my baby mother. I sit down with a laptop in front of me, I send out contracts, I book shows, I call deals, I close deals, I talk to promoters, while I make sure I cook dinner for my youth, then come home and get food to eat. I bathe them, I get them ready for school in the morning, I make them breakfast, I make all of that shit. Most of the time, my daddy and she in the freaking bed all the morning time when she became me, I say, yo, get up, come at me. She comes, she don't do all the shit for me. I just tell her, yo, listen, yo, me do it. Everything all right. I'm just doing it. And if you hear somebody come out and, and like tarnish my name like that, you know, it hurt more than anything else. Okay. It's when she comes out and come on live and said that I did that shit. That was the most hurtful thing. This is a woman of me and I, if me and I was on one, I talk, I yeah, listen, I talk, right? I'm like, how about me talk? I'm one pussy and she eat with pussy, you know me do? I turn on my fucking PlayStation and play FIFA all fucking night. Because that's the only thing me do, apart from other shit what me do when me do when me play FIFA. That's all me do. Up to this day, me still play FIFA. That is my enjoyment, that is my fun. I'm in a go and car and I'm in a hang out with people. This is what I do. Yes, Play a freaking video game. Like <laughs> you understand me? But you see, people wouldn't understand. And because I don't talk much, I just love them and make them go on with the knives. But you see, all them people that will tear down my name. It's not only my name alone, you know? that's my family's name. Mm -hmm. I'm not the only person named Lal. I have, have a whole heap of cousins with a man who I walk with and name them. I went them say Lal. And guess what? Them not call none of we buy with name, they call every man Lal. I'm going to tell you this. Ever since 2016, when me and that woman separated, I've never tried to bash her, never tried to disrespect her, never tried to be with her, yet. Never. And I care what she do. I sit down on my wallet for years and I say, yo, you know what? At the end of the day, I don't make them pick me up and say, yo, me that talk shit, and she alone talk. I respect me, you understand me? I was going to record a song. Because people might say, I can't DJ, and I can't write something. I write a whole for song, I write with that. I'm going to have a record a song when I left, and like, I sing the song, and my son hears the song, and I say to Mr. Daddy, the song, but you know, as mommy is going to disrespect me on a song, and I don't want that. And I didn't record the song because of what my son said to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? When he said that to me, I said, all right, but I'm not going to do it. And I didn't do it. Because not no matter nothing to me that my youth, them, for them, opinion is everything to me. You understand me? Like, the other day when she out and she disrespect me, and like, I stooped to her level and I wrote what I wrote on my page. And I, I, I take it down, you know, I apologize to them. I want call my daughter, I'm going to talk to my daughter. I'm like, are you disappointed in what I did? And you know what she said to me? She said, Daddy, I'm not disappointed in nothing you do. But I'm just asking myself, why did you answer her? Then you need to answer me. Why did you answer her? She said, why did you answer her? And then she said, we know who you are. You don't need to prove to the world who you are. My daughter is 16. We have two daughters. We are 16 year old. So when them see all of them things, them people attack and these germs of the nerves that tag me, fucking pick me, them and them shit, I'm going to show you something, right? I'm going to tell you this. Did you know that I made peace with this woman in April? I tried to make peace with her. That? She don't tell the world these things. I called her. I messaged her on Instagram. She sent a number, come give me a call, I'm going to talk to her. I'm like, yo, you know what, you, them, you know, all this man is going to stop and whatever, you know? The yeah, mother, mother and father with them love both and both parents and you know what I mean me reach out and you know, text him and said I say yo I should have done this a long time you know but hey I will carry on our work and thing and um my call talked to her I drove eight and a half hours to go and see them seen and when I reach in a Georgia I, I reach up in a Georgia in the night so I book a hotel and thing and the next day I come out and go to them and when I reach there 
see the youth, them and thing, and get away with them and end up. They have the house with her, them tell me they want to eat. So they don't eat curry chicken and roti and them things from my left. And I said, all right, let me cook some food for you. So I asked her with the Walmart, she said, everything there, let me can cook me now, I forgot the Walmart. I said, all right, cool, I cook. I was at her house. Oh, I wow. I cooked dinner for my kids, them. I spent the night at her house because they didn't want the kids and everyone to leave. And when I was there, she was trying to start an argument. Mm. And I, you know what I mean? I tell them, say, yo, you have to tell them, say, you don't like them, tell them you care about them, tell them, say, you left and can take care of that woman picnic. Yep. And when she said that, my daughter looked at her and said, don't say that. If daddy didn't care about us, daddy wouldn't come and look for us. Don't say that. You know? And um. I spend the night, spend the freaking night, and the day when I still come and write about them shit, the reason why I wrote that, I didn't speak to her in three years, a lot of people don't know, nobody that speak to Grace cannot talk to me, that none of her family members speak to me from me and I'm separated, people don't know these things, nobody allowed to talk to me, if they talk to me, she cut them off.